He says, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. Isn't there a scripture that says when the desires of your heart are what? Oh, when you seek him first. But when your desires, the desires of your heart are the same as the desires of God who grant you your request. That's what he does. We need to humble ourselves and seek after the will of God. When we seek after the will of God, he says, oh, I can meet that need. I can meet that need, and he does for her. In fact, she received an answer to her prayer. Her daughter was healed even from that very hour. In other words, when Jesus spoke it, she was, her daughter was healed. He spoke it, and the daughter was healed. What an amazing answer. She received an answer to prayer. And so her concern for her children touched the very heart of God. Did you notice that she's not even named? The woman is not even named in this passage. And I thought about it. That isn't right. She's not even named. She had such great faith that the story isn't about the woman, really. It's about Jesus Christ. The story is about great faith that we have in Jesus Christ. And when he's the object of our faith, he's able to meet us at every point of need that we have. When, you're, when the object of your faith is Jesus, there isn't anything he cannot do. There isn't any need he cannot meet. So even though she's not named, and then I got to thinking, you know what, that's pretty, pretty neat. Because whenever you think about this story, you could put your own name there, or the name of any mother into the story and say, most mothers, and I believe all great Christian mothers, love and sacrifice for their children because they're their mother. They're their mother. And the mother will do whatever it takes for her kids. And it's easy to take mothers for granted because they're mothers. And it's easy to forget their sacrifices because we can take them for granted because that's what mothers do. And we tend to remember the things that mothers expect of us. My mother was always expecting me to eat peas. <laughs> My mother's always expect me to take out the trash. My mother was always expecting me to do huh? Homework. Homework? <laughs> Homework. Then I think, do I remember any of the times that I let her down? No. Don't we tend to always remember the times the mother let us down? If you ever stop and think about it, I'll bet there were more times that we let mother down than mother let us down. I think. In any case, none of us is perfect. But we ought to be grateful for the mothers that we do have. And the grandmothers that raised them. And never take them for granted. Some of us came from a tough home. My home wasn't an easy home. My mother did not have an easy way to go to raise me and my two sisters. And uh, I think back and I realize she sacrificed a lot to make it possible for me to have an education and to go to school with clothes. And I need to remember that. Then I need to think, well, sometimes mothers are poor. Sometimes they're not, a, they're not accepted by other people, but you know what? A godly mother, a great mother, by faith in Jesus Christ and seeking after Him and His ways can receive a miracle, miraculous answer. It might not be for your healing. That might be your prayer. I'm praying for a little boy now. Sometimes God doesn't say yes to my request. I wrote him a note just recently and I said, sometimes I think we're, we're, we're sick because that helps other people come to faith. Sometimes we're sick to say, you can trust God even if he doesn't do what you ask him to do. Follow that? 
You can trust God even if He doesn't do what I want. You can trust God because He's God. He's great. He's holy. He really cares for us. He wants the best thing for us, but not just us. He wants to use us to represent Him to others. And if we do that, we might not get the thing that we ask for. But maybe the greater thing is we can point somebody to faith in Jesus Christ. That mother had a great love for her daughter and drove her to seek help from Jesus. <coughs> Nothing could keep her from seeking help from Him. Please remember that. Many of you have family members and loved ones or children or grandchildren or somebody else's kids that you're praying for. Keep going to Jesus with your petition. Don't give up. And second, Jesus taught his disciples a very important lesson. Don't write off a person just because they're needy and they didn't come from the right kind of people or whatever. Put your faith in Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. Look at him and stop looking at your circumstances. And tell other people that they can trust him too in their life. You can trust Jesus Christ. You can trust Him. You can trust Him. Put your faith in Him because He is great and wonderful and holy. And He cares about you and me. And sometimes we don't get the little whatever it was that we were asking for Him. But if we would remember to point everybody to Jesus Christ, may He always get all the glory and the praise and the honor. Because it's not about us. If you have faith in Jesus Christ, we're going to have a new body someday. If it's about Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. We don't have to worry about it. But our job right now is to tell other people you can trust Him. This mother trusted Him and He in that case gave her an answer to her, her request. She trusted Him. And her faith is the key that opened the door to the heart of Jesus Christ. So mothers, Christian women, listen to me. Jesus Christ stands ready to come alongside of you and stand with you in everything you seek to do to honor Him. Every time you go to Him for help, He is there with you. Don't ever feel like you're alone or He's not listening because He's there with you. He's not ever going to leave you. He's not ever going to forsake you. It may look like it to others. It may feel like it sometimes, but He is there and you can trust Him. He cares greatly for you and about you. And I just pray that the God of all peace would be with you. And the most important task there is on the face of the earth is to raise children and grandchildren to help them and pray for them and encourage them to go in the ways of God and to someday have their faith in Him because someday we can all be together. No matter what happens in this life, we're all going to be together in heaven forever. People tell me that I need to get in shape. I say, round is a shape. <laughs> My mother would be getting after me today. She was always so fit. She really was. But if you're a mom today, a grandmother, or if you had a mother, <laughs> I think we determined everybody in here had a mother, right? We need to be grateful for mothers, but we all need to learn a lesson from great mothers who keep the faith and keep trying, doing whatever they can to be a blessing to others. The greatest way to live your life is to live it to be a blessing to other people. No matter what anybody else did or didn't do for you, you live a different life. You live a life of faith and obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ and He'll honor you and work through your life and you can be a blessing to everybody around you. That's what we can do. Can't change the past, but we can sure change today and tomorrow. Would you stand with me? There may be somebody that is.